Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. Today we're going to be looking at something that's pretty important for businesses in the digital age. And that is online reputation management. Oh yeah, that's a big one. It is, it is. Especially these days. Huge. Yeah. So we're going to be looking at some materials that a listener sent to us. Okay. From a company called Results Matter Dental Marketing, LLC. Interesting. And they're all about helping dentists build up a really strong online presence. Makes sense. Yeah, focusing specifically on their reputation, how they look online. I mean, everyone looks for reviews these days, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like if I'm looking for a new... It's the first thing you do. Yeah, a new restaurant or like a... Doctor, dentist, anything. Mechanic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're going online and you're... Gotta see what other people are saying. Yeah, see what people are saying. Exactly. You want to know if they're good or not. You don't want to just... You don't want to risk take it. Take a chance on somebody with a terrible reputation. Yeah, especially with something important like your teeth. Right. Yeah. So their website talks a lot about how important that is. And they even have this tagline, uh, more reviews, more traffic, more conversions. Oh, yeah. I've heard that before. It makes sense. So what do you think the psychology is behind that? Why is that so important? Well, I think... For businesses these days. There's really two things going on there. Okay. On the one hand, you have the straight up kind of psychological effect of social proof. Right. So if a lot of people are saying good things about a business you're more likely to think that it's a good business. Yeah. You just automatically assume it must be good. Yeah, it must be good. If everybody else is saying it's good. They can't all be wrong. They can't all be wrong. Exactly. Right. Um, and then on the other hand, there's also the way that search engines use those reviews. That's true. Yeah. I didn't think about that. To Google and all those. Google loves reviews. They love reviews. They want to see. I want to see a business that is. Engaged, <laughs> active. Engaged with its customers. Yeah. And that people are leaving reviews for. And if there's a ton of positive reviews, that's a really good sign to Google that, hey, this is a legitimate business. People are happy with them. It's a quality business. Yeah. yeah. So it helps them rank higher in the search results. Which in turn leads to more traffic. Exactly. More people finding the business online. So they're getting more visibility mm -hmm. because they have these good reviews. More people are finding them. More people are going to their website, checking them out, calling them. Yeah. It's like this whole chain reaction yeah. that starts with just having a lot of good reviews. Now, I noticed that they have this rapid reviews process that they talk about on their website. Oh, interesting. What do you think that means? I'm guessing it's probably some kind of system for making it really easy for people to leave reviews. Yeah, like a streamlined process. Yeah, so me. Because I know when I go to the dentist, they hand me a card sometimes that's yeah. like, leave us a review. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I never do it because I'm like, I'm busy. I got to go home. Right. You forget about it. I forget about it. Yeah. But this sounds like it might be something that's more integrated. Like maybe they... Like maybe they send you a text message. A text. Right after your appointment. Right after you leave, yeah. With a link... To leave a review. While it's still fresh in your mind. Exactly. While you're still thinking about how great your dentist is. Or even maybe they have a tablet right there in the office where you can just leave a review before you even step out the door. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. Make it super convenient. That's what it sounds like to me. Because they also talk about using web forms and things like that, integrating it with like invoices and payments. So it's just like a seamless part of the whole experience. Yeah. Make it easy. Make it as easy as possible for people to leave those reviews. Yeah, frictionless. That's the key. Exactly. Get those reviews. Now, this is where I think it gets really interesting. Okay. Because it's not just about getting any review. Mm. It's about the quality of those reviews. Oh, right, right. And they even talk about how search engines are paying attention to more than just the number of stars that you have. Interesting. They're actually analyzing the content of those reviews and how businesses are responding to them. Wow, really? Yeah. So it's not just about getting a five-star rating. It's about what people are actually saying in those reviews and how the business is engaging with those customers. So you can't just, like, fake it. Apparently not. You can't just make up a bunch of reviews. It sounds like it's getting harder and harder to do that. That makes sense. Because Google's getting smarter. Yeah, Google's getting smart. They're using AI. They're using all sorts of fancy algorithms to figure out what's a genuine review, what's a fake review, what's a bot, you know. Wow. So they're really cracking down on that, huh? Yeah. 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 And they're also looking at, like I said, how businesses are responding to those reviews. Yeah. So are you just ignoring negative reviews? Which is probably not a good look. Not a good look. No. Are you being defensive? Are you being aggressive? Yeah. Or are you actually taking the time to respond to those reviews in a thoughtful, <laughs> professional, and helpful way. 
Yeah, you want to look like you care about your customers. Yeah, even, and you're taking their feedback seriously. Even the negative feedback. Even the negative feedback. Because yeah, because that shows that you're a real business. It shows you're listening. That you care about your customers. Yeah. And that you're willing to, you know, take steps to improve. It's all about that customer service. Exactly. Yeah. And they even have this automate replies feature on their website. Oh, so that ties into that. That ties into that. Yeah. Where they're talking about using AI to help businesses craft these personalized responses to reviews. Oh, that's interesting. So, you know, if someone leaves a glowing five-star review, mm -hmm. the AI can automatically generate a thank you message. Oh, that's cool. That's really personalized to what that person said in their review. Like tailored to that specific review. Exactly. Ooh. And then on the flip side, if someone leaves a negative review, the AI can flag that for the business owner. Yeah. Maybe even suggest some ways to respond to that in a way that's... That's helpful. Helpful, professional, and empathetic. Yeah, because sometimes it's hard to know what to say. It is. Yeah. Especially when you're feeling defensive. Yeah, especially if you feel like you're being attacked. It's hard to, you know, step back and be objective. Yeah. So this kind of gives you a little bit of a, a, a buffer. Yeah, a little help. A little help. Yeah. To make sure that you're responding in the right way. So it's not fully automated. It's like AI assisted. AI assisted, yeah. That's cool. Now, on top of all of that, they talk about something called social proof, which is basically the idea of showcasing your positive reviews as widely as possible. Yeah, like bragging about it a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So they talk about using things like website widgets. So you can embed your Google reviews right on your website. Right, so people can see them right there. See them right there. Without having to go to Google. Without even leaving your website. Mm -hmm. They talk about sharing them on social media. Yeah, that's a good idea. Making sure that you're listed in all the online directories. So you're everywhere. So you're everywhere. Yeah, covering all your bases. Exactly. Yeah. So it's basically, you know, taking those great reviews that you've worked so hard to get. Yeah. And making sure that they're seen by as many people as possible. Yeah. Get the most mileage out of them. Because like we were saying earlier, people are influenced by what other people are saying. Oh, yeah. For sure. So if they see that a bunch of other people have had a great experience with your business, they're much more likely to choose you over someone else who might not have as many reviews or as good of reviews. Exactly. It's that herd mentality. Yeah. We all want to go where everyone else is going. Exactly. We want to follow the crowd. Yeah. And then the final thing that they talk about, which I thought was really interesting, is that they have a mobile app. Oh, wow. For managing all of this. A mobile app. That's cool. Yep. So you can do it all from your phone. Yeah. That's convenient. So what do you think the benefits of that are? Well, I would say that. a busy business owner. A busy business owner, yeah. Especially like a dentist who's got patients coming in and out all day long. Right. You don't have time to be sitting at your computer. They don't have time to be sitting there yeah. monitoring their online reputation. Exactly. So with this app, you can get notifications if someone leaves a new review. Oh, that's handy. You can respond to reviews right from your phone. From anywhere. From anywhere. Yeah. So even if you're, you know, in between patients, yeah. you can just take a minute. Take care of it. To respond to that review, address any concerns, thank someone for their positive feedback. Yeah, that's great for customer service. It's all about being responsive. Yeah. And showing those customers that you care. And staying on top of things. Exactly. Yeah. So I think the big takeaway here for our listeners is that online reputation management is not something that you can just ignore anymore. It's really crucial. It's essential. For businesses of all sizes, but especially small businesses. Especially small businesses. Who are competing yeah. with bigger businesses who have more resources. Because it levels the playing field. It does. It levels the playing field. Yeah, because right. you can have a great business. You can provide amazing service. You can have the best products in the world. But if you have a terrible online reputation. Nobody's going to find you. Nobody's going to know about it. Or they're going to be scared off. Exactly. Yeah. So. It's really important to take this seriously. It's an investment. It's an investment. Yeah. And it's something that you can't afford to ignore. Now, here's a question for you, our listener. Okay. Think about your own online presence, whether it's for your business or even just your personal social media profiles. Mm -hmm. What story are your reviews telling? What are people saying about you? And if you don't like what you're seeing... What steps can you take today to start changing that narrative? Yeah, good question. Something to think about. Because your online reputation is really everything these days. It's your digital face to the world. Exactly. Yeah. So thanks for joining us for this deep dive into online reputation management. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.